My research primarily focuses on biomaterials interaction with blood. We are right now focusing on platelet-inspired technologies using biomaterials for different biomedical applications. Biomaterials is the application of synthetic as well as natural materials in the body. Most biomaterials devices would come in contact with blood and that may cause beneficial or harmful effects depending upon what the device is. We try to understand the mechanisms behind how blood interacts with materials and how blood responds to materials. Major blood component that we are focusing on is blood platelets. Platelets play a big role in many different kinds of diseases. We try to mimic platelets role in these different diseases using biomaterials systems. We recently got about $5 million of funding from the NIH to do multiple projects focused on platelets. One of them is to actually develop a synthetic platelet to help clotting for people who have some kind of bleeding disorder. Prominent examples are military who are in uh, traumatic bleeding injuries, civilians in accidents, cancer patients where the drugs affect their clotting. Right now in the clinic they use donor platelets and that is very expensive, that has a very short shelf life. It gets biologically contaminated very easily. If we can make a synthetic version of platelet that can be manufactured in large scale, stored for long periods of times, let's say as a powder, and then constituted in saline as needed. We just got the technology issued two patents. So we are going forward to test these things in larger animal models. The other technology is building off of these synthetic platelets to make particles that can deliver clot-busting drugs to areas of blood clot for patients, for example, in heart attack and stroke. So right now in the clinic, they deliver the drugs directly in the bloodstream and the drug would go everywhere and act indiscriminately. So we are making systems that get the inspiration from platelet biology to home in specifically at the clot sites and then release the clot-busting drugs. We are also looking at platelet interaction with metastatic cancer cells and doing some pilot projects right now with funding from American Cancer Society to treat metastatic patients with injectable synthetic platelet systems that carry cancer-killing drugs.